Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been so long, but I am back. I have just been so busy these past, actually this entire month of July has been absolutely insane for me. I am currently moving in to my new place. It is um, about 10 minutes away from Emory campus, which is the school that I go to. And I've just been getting my stuff in there little by little. I am officially going to be moving in all of my furniture this coming Tuesday. So actually by the time you're watching this, I'll be hopefully entirely moved in, but you know, like we'll see, we'll see what happens. So maybe the next time that you check back in, you will see me in an entirely new background. Um, I hope so, that would be amazing. But yeah, so I've been moving in and I've been organizing for this coming school year because it is about to be absolutely insane. Um, it is my last year as an undergrad and I like I was talking to my friend about this yesterday actually, we went to lunch and we were talking about how it feels like just yesterday we were graduating from high school um, and here we are in our last year of undergrad and I'm studying for the GRE um, and for the chemistry GRE subject test because that's what I'm majoring in and I want to go to grad school so yeah if you guys are interested to know more about that aspect of my life because it's obviously like a really big one um, I'm very like academically involved and I want you know I don't know if you guys are interested in that let me know comment down below like this video I don't know um, anyway so hopefully everything will be back on schedule once a week, maybe twice a week. I'm going to try. We'll, you know, we'll see how it works. But now to the actual reason why you clicked on this video, I am going to show you guys what is in my travel bag and I'm going to tell you the domestic edition of this. I say domestic because in Atlanta at least, which is where I'm from, and this is the hub that I've pretty much always traveled out of. Um, they don't really make you put all of your liquids inside of one plastic bag like this. Um, but I do know that there are some hubs in the US that do make you do this. So check beforehand. I think Fort Walden Beach makes you put everything in one bag like this. Um, I'm not positive though. Internationally, I noticed that whenever I would like go up and get my bags like checked by security, some countries were very confused as to why I had so many liquids because I have a lot. Like y'all are about to see like this, this is my travel bag, like my on, on my carry on type of travel bag. Um, and I'll talk more about this just in a second, but like basically when I went to Germany and when when I was flying out of Germany and when I was flying out of Ireland this past summer, they all were very confused as to why I had so many liquids just on my person. Actually, in Germany, I got away with it. They, The guy was really nice and I don't know, but <laughs> um, in Ireland, they weren't very amused and they were like, we're gonna have to take some of your stuff away from you. And I was like, no. <laughs> So I actually had to coordinate with like some of the other people that I was traveling with to get like multiples of these. I only needed two, luckily, but um, I will give an international edition to fit all of my stuff into two of these. So you can pick, so I'll pick like which ones that I need for sure on my person and then which one I would check through. Um, internationally but I'm just one of those people who just doesn't like to check their bags I've just like growing up my mom has always taught me to like pack densely I do pack light like I pack light as far as clothes go um, I tend to choose like every day buy an outfit like figure out what we're doing you know get like a general itinerary I don't like to be overly like anal about it if you know what I'm saying um, but you know I pick like a general like outfit of the day type of thing and I just go from there. I do pack extra like underwear and socks like just in case because you never know. Um, but other than that I don't really pack that many clothes. It's really <laughs> like my toiletries bag. So domestic edition. Um, I really like this bag because it has a nice strap and it has like pockets on each side 
and in the front it is by Jewel. I don't know what kind of brand this is, to be honest, it was a gift. But I really like this bag, so if you can get your hands on something like this, it's awesome. You can also like strap this around your carry-on bag, like around the handle on your carry-on bag, so you can roll it instead of like carrying it on your shoulder. Because this actually does have a lot of stuff in it, like I do pack quite densely. So yeah, like try to find something where you can play around with a strap to wrap it around your roller bag. Because even when you're just flying like domestic from point A to point B, you know you're going to be exhausted. But that's just me. So. That's my tip. Um, so yeah, in here on the outsides, I've packed in my sunglasses. I've got a pair of Ray-Bans. I also have a pair of just like Kroger ones, but I like these because I like them as a fashion statement. So yeah, they're like little club masters. I don't know how that looked on camera, but ooh, rough. Um, anyway, so yeah, I have that on one side just for easy access. And then on the other side I have my socks because I get so cold and people don't understand like even if you already have socks on and you're wearing shoes and everything on the plane like it's freezing like for me especially maybe I'm, I just get like quite cold very easily I don't know but for me especially um, I just need an extra pair of socks so like when I take off my shoes on the plane because I am that person I don't care my feet don't smell that much I mean, unless I'm like walking around all day. Um, <laughs> and if you're watching this, then you know, you know they do. But um, no, like if I'm just wearing like a new pair of socks, like clean shoes, my feet aren't going to smell. But I like to take them off just to get comfortable because I hate long flights and I always put on an extra pair of socks on top. So now to the major beast on the inside. I love this because it's so big and it actually has room for my laptop in here too. I don't know if y'all can see that very well, but yeah. So I put my laptop in here also. Um, and it also has pockets on this side. So I wear glasses and if I'm traveling, pretty much always, I, I always wear glasses on a plane. It doesn't really matter if it's just for a day trip even. I'm gonna wear glasses on the plane and off, like on the way back on the plane too because my eyes are also quite, like my whole body is dry. My eyes are dry, my skin is dry my body is dry like you'll see like I get like I have a lot of very hydrating things in here so I always wear my glasses but here is my little glasses case and I also bring extra contacts with me too because you never know it doesn't matter how long the trip is it doesn't even matter if it's overnight I pretty much always bring like a little extra something something if it's like not really big you know so my first bag um, I'm gonna kind of group this into threes. Like, these three bags deal with kind of my um, skincare and, like, and bath time, you know, those types of routines. So in this first bag, which is from Delta, uh -huh. um, oh and this is just dirty, anyway, <laughs> um, I have my makeup wipes, I've got my toothbrush with a little cap. I've got my BioTrue um, travel size contact solution, and I've got my contacts case too. I've got <laughs> um, two travel sized toothpastes. I really like Crest. I don't know why, but you know this is what I've got. And I've got Johnson and Johnson Reach Total Care floss because you do need a floss. You know what I mean? And in here, I've also got some Kiehl's Deluxe Hand and Body Lotion and Grapefruit Flavored Lotion, which I received in one of the Delta bags that I, um, like, if you've watched my Bulgaria vlog, the first part one, you'll see, like, I had a little Delta, like, travel bag that is, was given to everyone who flies business class or Delta One class, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's that's where that's from. And you'll see those like those little things like pop up every everywhere in all of these bags. And I've got my tweezers and my um, nail clippers. And that's pretty much it. And there I actually have like a pair of earrings in here too that I had just thrown in. But anyway. So and then in this bag, 
Um, this has a lot of like lotions and stuff. So first off, like here is my um, little bag for shampoo and conditioner. Always put stuff in bags. Wow, this is gonna be a really long video. Sorry guys. Um, always put stuff in bags. I also have body lotion. You just never know if it's gonna leak. Something actually leaked on me when I was traveling this past summer, but it was in a bag, so like um, disaster controlled. And I have some hand lotion, some body lotion. I have a face mask too um, that my friend actually gave me. So I haven't used it yet, but um, I was using some other ones that I had while I was traveling. I brought some Neosporin because you never know, you might get a cut, like just be prepared. Brought my degree um, sexy and drink deodorant. I also have like a bag filled with um, my perfume that I use. I just brought one perfume because you don't need more than one really. Like pick your favorite one that's like quite small and that's that's it, you know? And I got this Stila um, Rose Gold Retro um, like liquid eyeshadow. And then I have this Essie nail polish in bare, topless and barefoot. And I really like it. And I think like that's what I was wearing when I was traveling with this set. And I also have my um, Revlon nail file too. So you never know, you gotta be prepared. Okay, and now in my last skincare like routine bag, I have um, a foot lotion that I got at Sally's. It's the heel and toe foot repair and it smells kind of like lavender. It does smell like, it smells really good actually. So this is like one of my favorite um, foot creams ever. And I don't know, my feet aren't like disgusting, but I, I like to think it's because I use this. <laughs> I like to put it on at night. And I also have just on um, like um, prescription ointments for my skin because, because like I have such dry sensitive skin that anything can really set me off and give me a rash. So I just like carry these around with me everywhere I go because it is just awful when I get a, a rash. Like it stays for days and Benadryl doesn't fix it or anything. So um, here I also have the same sort of like travel size containers. This has my body wash. This has my BioSilk hair lotion conditioner um, oil thing and the, you like make sure that you get one of these that is okay to have oil and like these ones these are both from Walgreens um, this one it does not carry oil like it says on the packaging but this one does so just be aware of that and I also have like little q-tips too because they're necessary I also have my fluticasone propionate which is just um, Flonase like uh, it's a nose spray because I get really dried out like whenever I'm on a plane it doesn't matter how long I was on it I just like everything here gets like so dried out so I really like to prevent it and then I have this Kiehl's lip balm number one that I also got in one of those um, Delta One packages I have some bobby pins yeah like hack life these are really good if you have like a clumpy mascara and you can't get rid of it if you don't have a spoolie or anything. Um, and I usually don't have a spoolie on me. I don't know why, I just don't. I need one though. Um, but anyway, th you know, if you have these just laying around, use them because they work really well. I also have some extra hair bands, which I use when I'm like working out or anything. Otherwise I like to use scrunchies because my head is like quite sensitive. So scrunchies are nice. Then I have these little like clear um, baby bands because I don't know, like, I, I actually really like these and I like the effect that I can get on my hair. Oh, scrunchie. Huh. Um, <laughs> now to skincare, like my facial skincare. I like to use the Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder night cream. I know it's not cruelty free, and if you know me, I'm all about cruelty free, like, skincare and makeup and everything. Um, but this was a gift from my mom. I couldn't say no to it. Actually, everything that's left in this bag was a gift from my mom. So I can't just like tell her like, sorry mom, I'm not gonna use this. But um, yeah, so I really like that Estee Lauder night, um, night wash. Like it's a micro cleansing wash. Um, 
but it's too big to bring traveling so my skin is actually okay enough where I can just use a makeup wipe and like really you know wipe it all off and I won't really need anything else especially since I don't really like put anything on my face anyway I if I put anything on it it's concealer like otherwise I might put on bronzer I don't have any bronzer on right now I do have highlighter on them so anyway um, every night after I wash my face or after I put after I scrub off my face with that those makeup wipes I use this Elizabeth Arden overnight success skin removal serum skin renewal serum um, it's really nice the only thing that I don't like about it is this like head right here is like quite like flimsy and the cap to it is also flimsy like it doesn't really like snap in place which kind of worries me um, but I've been traveling with this since I went to Bulgaria this past like in the beginning of the summer and I hadn't had a problem with it since I haven't actually and I really really like this the other night serum that I have is advanced night repair Estee Lauder um, it's like a, a sample size, but I still have a lot in it. I really like it too. Um, I just actually really prefer this one. Like I, I really like, I don't notice a huge difference with this yet. And I think it's just because my skin is like still young for the most part. Um, but I really, really like this one and yeah, so I would certainly recommend this. Um, I also for nighttime use after I put on my serum. I use the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. <laughs> it, it, it looks like that. Um, I really, really love it. It is for all skin types and it smells like roses, like a very light, like rose water type of smell. I love it. And then for the daytime, I use this Daywear Broad Spectrum Advanced Multi Protection Antioxidant Cream whatever um, but it has SPF 15 in it which is like not enough to actually do anything to you um, to help you but you know I'll tell myself whatever like I, I just I prefer to have a lotion a face lotion especially that has SPF in it just to say that I'm trying to do something um, it smells like cucumbers. I'm not a huge, massive fan of this scent. I prefer this scent more, but it's still nice. It's refreshing. Um, I did see news, like e.l.f. is bringing out a new line, and in their new line, they have a daytime moisturizer that is SPF 55. Like, my mind is blown. I am so excited to actually get my hands on that and try it out. So if you guys want me to do a little review on the new e.l.f. products coming in, let me know because I would love to. So now we're going to go into my makeup bags, which I have three of, or no, I actually have two of, sorry, <laughs> it's these two. Um, this has all of my makeup that I would ever need. So first in this box, box, bag, I have um, my brushes. These are all the brushes in that bag. I actually use the edge of this one. I used to use this for bronzer and for blush, but now I use the edge of it for highlight because I don't have a highlighting brush, like the little fan brushes. I kind of think they're dumb because like you can only use that really for highlight. Like you can't really, well I guess you could use it for blush too. I don't know. You, yeah, you, you could use it for anything, but like I, I try to tell myself like you don't need it, Elena. Like you can get away with like putting your powder highlight with just this. This is my um, eyebrow shadow my eyebrow powder brush that I like and I use this just for um, the powder that I have. I use the hourglass powder which you'll see in a sec and this is the contouring blush and bronzer in St. Lucia by e.l.f. <laughs> um, obviously I've hit pan. I've like used this for quite a while and I don't really use this blush. I like the brush the blush on me. It's not that I don't. I just don't really like use blush that much but I really like this um, bronzer a lot. Like, actually, like, it's a little bit darker, but it does really well for my skin. I like it. It works kind of like a contour. And then also, like, don't laugh at me, but the reason why all of these brushes are, like, quite dirty is because of this. Um, this is my eyebrow powder that I use. It's this um, Deep Mocha um, L'Oreal shadow. And the top of it broke off, like, a year or two ago so I just putting it I just been putting it in this like black 
bag so that it doesn't like <laughs> it, you you can't see that it's like super dirty but Maybelline actually makes the exact same color which I just found in CVS a couple days ago so I'm probably gonna go out and buy that and then dump this because I or at least like I'll not travel with this because I hate how everything is just totally like blackened by it okay and then in this bag I have all of my makeup so for my eyelashes I really really have been preferring to use this Katie Cat Eye Cover Girl in the color Fairy Black Très Noir <laughs> it says it on the bottom. Anyway, um, I really really like it. It's just I love the brush of it. Um, you can see like it's a really interesting shape and I feel like it actually grabs and lengthens all of my lashes and thickens them too. Um, I just really like the formula. It doesn't crumble during the day. Like you don't like feel like if you touch your eyes, it won't move. Like you won't get like crumbly bits of mascara on the bottom. And I say that because this one has been my go-to for years. This is the All May Intense Eye Color Volumizing Mascara in Midnight. And I really, really love it. Like it actually volumizes and lengthens like no other mascara. I will like... I don't know. This one and the Katie Cat one is actually pretty comparable for me. Um, but it does kind of crumple during the day, like, which is sad. But I still use it. I, I really, really like it a lot. I know a lot of people swear by the um, Maybelline Lash Sensational, right? I think that's the name of it. The Maybelline Lash Sen Lash la <laughs> Lash Sensational. Okay, so yeah, people really swear to swear by that one. I've bought two bottles of that and I just I don't know like I kept going back to this one and I I don't really know why like it just the formula for me and the brush for me too I just didn't really like the brush like it's plastic and I really like brushes that are like kind of bristly more like this one you know you can actually see all of the um, little bits in it I don't know I just I didn't really like it very much but um, something that I prefer doing is getting the travel size option for everything. So I got this Estee Lauder um, Sumptuous Bold Volume Lifting Mascara in 01 Black as a sample. And just when my mom had bought me like all of these skincare things because she told me that I was getting older now, I'm in my 20s, I need to start taking care of my face and my skin more. Um, which was like a huge shocker. But anyway, so I've used this before. The first time that I used it, I was in the car, so like, um, and I actually typically do my makeup in the car, but this is what the brush looks like, and I wasn't really a huge fan of it when I first tried it. So after I tried it that one time in the car, I never went back to it. But it was in my makeup bag, and I decided to try it today just to see like what my real, like, these were both in my purse, so like downstairs. So I just wanted to try this, and if it didn't work out, I would have just gone back downstairs and picked them up and put them over like this mascara. Um, but like actually, it's pretty good. It uh, it did a good job, I think. Um, it's very lengthening. It's not super volumizing like um, this one or like this one really. But I really like. I don't know. With this one, you had to pack a lot of product on, and I was used to this Katie Cat one because you could just put like one or two strokes and like bam, like insane automatic lashes. The the product like really comes off really intensely from this brush, so that's really why I like it. And I've had it for about seven months now, and it is still going really strong. It hasn't dried out or anything. So Katy Perry, like props to you, girl, because this might be my new favorite of all time. Anyway, moving on. So the eyeliner that I have on right now and that I've actually only been using this is the Kat Von D eyeliner in Trooper. It's the tattoo liner, oh, upside down, huh? Tattoo liner in the color Trooper. And I bought an extra box because I thought I was going to run out of this one. I don't know, like, I've had this for over a, maybe a year now. But I think over the over a year. I don't know. 
a year-ish, we'll say. Before I left for Ireland, like I put this on, it was a little bit spotty, so I bought a new one just in case this ran out, but this is still going strong. So, I don't know, but I love them. And also, um, Kat Von D is cruelty-free, which is why I gravitate towards her stuff a lot. She's amazing, I love her. And then, also on my eyes, I really have been using this Estee Lauder, um, like, sample pack. It's the Pure Color and the sample pack. I've tried to look it up online, but I can't find it anywhere, so I don't know if they even sell this. But it was a sample. Um, right now, I have only this color on my eyes, kind of like in the crease area. I don't know if you can even see that. Sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this came in a sample, again, with the stuff that my mom bought. Both of these bags had come, too. So, you know, like, I don't know, it was a really good deal. My eyes are very, very oily. Like, my eyelids are very, very oily. That is the only part of my entire body that is actually oily. So, I use this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It is long-lasting -last eyeshadow base. And let me tell you, it, like, actually really works. You only need, like, the smallest smidge ever onto your pinky finger or something and um, I don't know if you can see the color of it but it's like a skin color like my skin color obviously and you just need a little bit dot it around and it really works like my eyes always 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 smudge but this has kept me going strong I use I put these three brushes in this bag separate from the other one just because um, these two I use for like concealer and for um, foundation and I don't want them to get like brown gross stuff all over them so I put them in this bag and actually they haven't stained the inside of the bag so I'm pretty happy with that and then I got this on sale at Sephora online and I use the sun for my bronzer um, for, for that elf bronzer and it also hasn't blood off so I really like that and I think like I've used this side before for blush but I just don't really use blush that much but I really like this it's an Urban Decay naked flushed brush so Urban Decay is also cruelty free which is why I have a lot of their stuff so I use like I don't know if you can even like really properly see it in this light but this is not my shade this five or six shades lighter than me but I used this I used to use this a lot as like a um, brightener under here and like on my nose um, just to like highlight those areas you know like kind of like that Kardashian kind of look I was into it um, about a year ago this is in the color 15 fair and it's the Maybelline fit me concealer I do really like it it's nice um, it, it gives really good coverage too but here is a really cool life hack if you are traveling and if you don't want to bring your entire like concealer or your entire foundation go to Sephora and get a sample size of it why not like this is I love this so I actually have this Tarte Amazonian clay um, concealer and light medium beige and it's just in here and I absolutely love this stuff I am definitely buying the full size of this obviously like don't get a sample if you don't intend to buy the full size of it um, but if you didn't like it you don't like it right I really love this so I'm gonna get this full size and I also got the Tarte tinted moisturizer in the color medium and kind of burst um, but I also really liked this I don't know if I'll get this but I really really liked it I don't know I, I'm definitely getting this concealer because this was a bomb concealer Tarte um, is cruelty free as I'm sure most of you know but I also really like that they have a lot of undertones for their concealers. Like I'm more of an olive toned individual and um, yeah, like I, I really, really struggle a lot with that type of thing. I also have these two lipsticks from the Pure Color Envy Estee Lauder range and I really love them. One is in a plum, one is in a more um, brownie type of thing. I have an amazing dupe for this brownie like nude. I have it on my lips right now. Um, but the dupe is the Ciate with Olivia Palermo edition and it's in the color Praline, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if they still sell it anymore. It might have been limited edition, 
but I got it. I got it and it's a complete dupe for this one in the color Intense Nude um, for Estee Lauder. They feel pretty similar. This one does have like a more creamy consistency on it, but I also really like that other one. And last but not least, I have this in my travel bag pretty much every time I go traveling, even if it's not that time of the month, and it has all of those goods inside of it. So please bring that along with you because you just, you never know when you're going to need this. You never know. I don't care like what kind of, like, you just, you don't. If you're interested in seeing my apartment tour and seeing my homeware hauls and seeing how I just generally organize my things, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I think about 83% of my viewers aren't even subscribed to me. So please subscribe to me. Please show me some love because I will show you guys some love back. I promise you that. And like this video, comment down below what you're interested in seeing in my coming, my upcoming videos too. And don't forget to follow me on social media because on social media is where you will see like live updates of my apartment and of my life, of school, of my studies and just like the food that I'm eating, the coffee that I'm making. Like I, I'm trying to keep up with it pretty intensely actually. So I think that you guys will also really, really like that a lot. Um, sorry, I'm just like shedding everywhere, so I'm like trying to like pull off my... Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.